Good morning. Today's, this morning's monologue, I'm titling appropriately Krishna John Mashtami. This is a Hindu This is part of Hinduism. It's it's a Hindu celebration, a Hindu holy day. It celebrates and honors and remembers the birth of Krishna. which is described as happening on the eighth day of the dark fortnight in Shravana Masa when we tr translate that to the Gregorian calendar it brings us to today which is Wednesday September 6th 2023 when I was talking with my adopted brother he's more than a friend we, we bestow upon each other family terms I'm very much his brother he's very much mine We bestowed the title of, of uncle to our children. I'm the uncle to his son. He's the uncle to my daughters. And we mean that sincerely. And with great interest, he's teaching me about his culture, his history, and of course religion is a big part of his culture. He's teaching me about his language as well, which is the second cornerstone of culture. And when I visited him yesterday, merely to deliver a letter, a, a card, that when I was in Edmonton, a good friend of his an individual who I suspect is his mentor and definitely somebody he looks up to. We talked. I, I By me arriving, I'd actually interrupted the planning of this evening's the Krishna Jamashtami celebration in, in Regina. And I was invited to just sit with them. It's my brother and, and another gentleman. So my brother sits across from me so we can see each other most easily. And then this other gentleman, it, it's, it, he's, he volunteered to, to help organize some of the, some of the components of tonight's event. So he was sitting at the head of the table. And they'd be speaking in Hindi and I just get to to watch and be a part of that. And we get to pretend that maybe I understand. Maybe I don't. I'm able to now I've I've heard it enough, I'm able to understand some of the emotions. Like, oh, you know, right now they're they're angry. Oh, right now they're being just passionate. Oh, right now this is something that they're disagreeing about, oh, they're getting frustrated. Which is, is really helpful for me. And then every once in a while they'll say, oh, sorry. And they'll speak in English. And I say, please, it's okay. When you're speaking in English, I, I don't, I mean, I get to understand the details of your conversation better. And I appreciate the inclusion and your efforts. But when you're speaking in Hindi, 
I get to learn your language. So please don't feel that you, you need to stop and translate. For me, it's it's okay. The the man that was you know requesting my brother's help just to organize you know it's a nice place he has a restaurant it's a nice place to just kind of collect your thoughts think pause but also to ask for help you know my brother he has a lot of experience in events he knows a lot of people and also he's providing free of charge for the food so it's important to to coordinate you know music venue and food are kind of the three critical components of, of a party and my brother always the food he can sing he has a location a venue as well but his specialty is food and we were talking about the Gita this is the Hindu text one of them at least and it I, 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 I shared with to my brother I said so my brother could hear it but I said to the this new gentleman that I met he says you know have you have you read I said well I'm, I'm trying to learn I've reached it Sikhism a little bit. I, I understand a little bit of, of of Islam, a little bit of Judaism, a little bit of Christianity, I'm, and I'm very much trying to learn uh, Hinduism, and I have also researched and read uh, about Buddhism, and, and I'm and I'm quite interested in well in our First Nation, the Canadian First Nation traditions and wisdoms. And I offered the humor. I said, well, when my brother feels that, that I've earned it, because I, I said, you're able to buy these things, right? You can buy a Koran, you can buy a, a Gita, you know, on Amazon, you know, two-day delivery, right? I said, but, but such things, you know, an, an entire culture, a, a religion summary, summarized, it's not a commodity. And I know from Islam, you're not supposed to buy a Quran. It's supposed to be gifted to you. I know from Northern Cree culture here in Saskatchewan, that components of, of smudging, like say sweet grass, you're not supposed to buy it. Some shops will sell it. You're supposed to collect it yourself, or it's supposed to be a gift or a trade. Same thing for sage, same thing, you know, these spiritual ceremonial components, they're so reverential. They are they they are above common daily transactions they are not a commodity so they cannot be sold they can be given from one person to the next and they can of course be you know traded for say hey brother i'm out of this you know can you help me but you can't reduce it just to to a trade i i saw recently just when we were coming back from Edmonton, we stop in at at the uh, the band council gas station in south south of Saskatoon. There, huge complex, lots of shops, gas station. So it's an entire almost commercial district, and there's also a an office space, and it's it's quite massive. There's a restaurant there as well. We went to the wolf, what do they call it, the wolf trading 
depot or store wolf trading is the two words that really stand out to me but I see under glass next to the 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 shop cashier it's, it's kind of designed the whole building is, is kind of the, the the shop it's kind of designed as a circle right that you can walk around the perimeter and then unlike most places where the, the cashier is just kind of towards the door almost against the wall in, in some ways and it just it interrupts the flow of people in the center of the room is this rectangle and that's and it's surrounded by it's perimetered by glass cases so this is kind of not just the more valuable things but also maybe the more spiritual things so jewelry rings but very non-discreet it doesn't have lights on it or anything and it's down by the ground it's low it's these long coils I mean it must be close to a yard long these were long I've, I've never seen sweetgrass braids so big you know it's like the length of my arm from from shoulder to tip at least and I just kind of I whispered to Ainsley not not quite a whisper I said to Ainsley almost reprimanding the, the the clerks but also reminding myself that as much as I would like to have some sweet grass for me my home my daughters my guests right just to be a part of that practice and to learn so I've been I've learned I've, I've been advised you're not supposed to buy sage you're not supposed to buy sweet grass it's you're supposed to collect it yourself, make it yourself, harvest it, braid it, dry it. And there would definitely be more to that ceremony. Sage, you're supposed to collect it, dry it, hang it, and there's definitely more to that ceremony. But you're not supposed to sell it. Uh, and so I said that to Ainsley, like, mm, you, know, you, you know what I heard? And these memories and these moments are just lovely. And my brother said, like, and he's and he's very generous. But he says, you know, I have, you know, like I I have, you know, I have Quran, I have Bible, I have, you know, Torah, I have a course, I have the Gita. And we we're talking, and he says, like, I'll I'll try to find one for you, like, I'll. And we I learned more about. Kurishid should John mash to me, and I learned as we're talking more, you know, the event planning, but also talking and teaching me about okay, why is tonight, well, tomorrow night, but speaking to you from today, why is this event so important? What is it? And I was told, well, it's the celebration of it's it's Krishna's birthday. Like, whoa. And, and so one of the questions I asked, I didn't want to, I wanted to learn, but I didn't want to be disrespectful. So I, I showed that body language. Like, how, how old is he? And, and they answered kind of, right away, kind of, we don't know. They said, you know, some some people some texts will say you know like millions of years old like for, for forever others say thousands you know five thousand six thousand years which which i appreciated you know you kind of get to pick which version of the story you want and my brother He says, like, because he knows people, right? He's got connections. Brother's got connections. 
and he, he almost committed right he, he's, he's speaking like that he's like i i think i can find one for you i'm gonna try he said i'm gonna try i was like on his birthday there's even a whisper of a possibility that i could be gifted the gita how do you describe that feeling it would be cliche to say humbled it's just a sense of awe and reverence and gratitude and gratitude's now kind of cliche it's it's definitely a pause it's just kind of whoa what's happening i remember what i did say it's like that's such a cool story because i've been gifted one other holy book in my life the inscription reads late august 1990 it's from it was it's in my dad's writing because mom always made him use his writing she's always trying to build him up she has really nice penmanship but she's always trying to build him up right because she was the brains of the operation so it was important that he always felt you know involved like he had something to do too because she would of course organize the shopping and I remember picking out my Bible. I was with my sister and my parents. But my mom, but mom would have been the one making sure this happened. And what the one that appealed to my sister, we both went with this little black leather soft cover Bibles. My sister's is silver. Uh, page silver edged mine's gold and that's such a beautiful story and then in the inscription is you know to our son right dated I think it's August 27th 1990 love and in my dad's writing right love I think he would have written love dad and mom which is really bizarre because we always say mom and dad. I have one holy book and I, and I hold it with in, in high in high regard. I have not read it. I find the language difficult and because it starts at Genesis which is kind of the it's kind of a slow start, I guess, because after the the creation story, then it's it it it, it talks. About, and I think this is a very valuable part, which is why they put it the second most important thing is it it's the lineage, and this person had this person's, you know, then Esau begat, you know, right, and Isaac begat, and Abraham begat, and it goes down the 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 Hebrew you know basically family tree a little bit which would be really useful especially if it was a visual because then you can really then you can understand it but it doesn't make for compelling reading especially to a youngster so I try to read a book you start at the beginning it's like okay the heavens and the earth were created yeah not a lot of drama there you know pretty simple plot not a lot of surprises. And then the second part, and then this guy had a son, and his name was this. And he had a son, and his name was this. And it just goes on like that for pages. Not very compelling. And it was funny, because just, just the other day, when we were preparing for this Edmonton trip, one of my books up here, I usually keep it right up 
here. Actually, it's I think on the bookshelf. It's this one right here that I'm indicating. It's a little book of gospel songs from the United Church. But on the on the front cover, it's a little blue cover, right? And in white writing, there there's a, a Bible quote, and then it references it as being from Ephesians, I think, five sixteen or something. So I packed my little leather Bible. So that if if Ainsley was so inclined, if that was what she wanted to spend her time on, was singing and reading and exposing herself to musical notes, then she could also go and reference that quote with the context instead of just kind of cherry picking these five or seven words. By doing that, it I'm, I'm holding and I'm touching my Bible again. And I've collected other Bibles that I have. I'm looking at two other, the Gideon Bibles. Isn't now now I collect them? But that paper, that smell, just the the, the quality of craftsmanship with with Bibles. It, it, it's right away so beautiful and as I'm holding my Bible again and it's all been I remember mom added every one of the, you know what do they call it the the chapter or part of me it would be the book stickers so that you can quickly find the chapters of the book they're little stickers that stick out from the side and Matthew Mark Luke John right the little stickers on the side so that you can quickly find you know, Corinthians or Ephesians or Revelations and so forth. And I was thinking, you know, I've I've tried to read this book many times, but always I've started at the beginning. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, right? And I was thinking, you know, maybe I should try, but skip ahead. I, I hear Revelations... In pop culture, that's the one with the four horsemen and, you know, the apocalypse. But as I was pondering that, Revelations, it's like, but doesn't Revelations also mean an idea? That, oh, I just had a revelation. So it made me really curious about, okay, what's actually... I know how po pop culture and The Simpsons, for instance, might reference the Revelations, but there's like... 30 pages of that really fine, you know, onion skin payroll and with that small print. It doesn't take many words to say four horsemen apocalypse. It's kind of spooky. Dude's riding. You hear the, the name of the four horsemen. So I was thinking, okay, maybe I should, maybe I should start by reading Revelations. But as I was reciting for you, what I learned... 34 years ago so I started to read Genesis maybe I just need to skip to Exodus or maybe further along in Genesis these are my thoughts recently right and then it's suggested that I might be gifted on an auspicious and, and holy day, a second holy book. And this, on the festival, it's, it, it's, it's honoring and commemorating and remembering the birth of an existence of Krishna. which in in hindu in hinduism that's the the supreme god in hinduism there's thousands of gods of the major global religions hinduism is the only polytheistic 
religion. It makes it extra special. Hinduism, or pardon me, uh, Hinduism, Pali, um, and Judaism, Islam, Christianity, uh, even Buddhism, Sikhism, these are all monotheistic, one God. Where Hinduism, I think it's, first of all, it's older than all the others, but it speaks to me as more likely that there is many, many gods. And even Catholicism, I go in the churches when I travel, and I'm surprised because the architecture tells me something. You have the big altar up front with the pews facing it and so forth. But then along the sides, I don't know the right word. So I can only describe what I've seen. So there, there are these statues. And it seems like... It's like, what is that? And you go and you look and you're to get closer. And they're saints. And this is, it, it's, it's, it's a statue, it's a place where people, and I've, and I've heard that people do this, that people will pray to saints as well. Well, to me, that starts to sound more similar. And I've thought about this for many years uh, as a question, that is Catholicism even truly monotheistic. First of all, the Holy Trinity, I don't want to get into that. I don't know anything about it. But if you're praying to a saint, isn't that closer to poly? You know, you're kind of giving them deity, godlike powers, or assuming they have those powers by praying to them, assuming granting, assuming they, they, they can invoke godlike powers. Remember, I know nothing about this stuff. Uh, I'm just learning very slowly. So these are some of my reflections on Krishna Janmashtami. And where I'm going with this is during, during the conversation that the three of us at this table Sometimes my brother's phone would ring, so then I would, not immediately, but I, I would recognize the opportunity and I would converse with the gentleman to my to my left and just kind of engage him. And I'd tell him a little joke, right, to say, you know, because he's, he's telling me, like, you should come to this, you should come to this event, you should come to this. It's a big, you know, big, you know, Gujarat, you know, the Regina Gujarat Club. This is coming up in th this coming weekend. You should come. It's Friday, Saturday. You know, big, big, very important. And I, I tell him, I say, you know, there's something I'm learning about the the Hindu, the the Hin the the Indian culture. I said about every ten days, you guys have a very big, the biggest party, and he's laughing. He's yeah, 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 yeah. He's enjoying it. And later, my brother shows me. He says, "Hey, I'm, you know, I'm thinking of buying a plane." And I, and I said, but I don't know where I would keep it. And I, I tease the gentleman. Or I share share my my thoughts. And I say, "Yeah, it's the same in every culture. India, Canada, your wife is going to be upset whether you're buying a barbecue, whether you're buying a lawnmower, whether you're buying a plane, <laughs> and they're still going to say, and where do you think you're going to keep that? <laughs> you know, and just, why did you get that? We don't have enough space. What are you going to do with it? You know? Uh, just being considered because 
the gentleman to my left. I'm trying to learn his name, but my memory has been. I need to see it because they, they introduce themselves with, with words. With, I mean, sorry, with words, with voice. But it helps so much to be able to read a couple times. And that's just not, you know, name tags would help. Uh, but anyways, I feel bad because I, I don't know his name. And yet, he invited me to come tonight. Come to the Hindu temple, the Krishna Janmashtami. He's one of the organizers. And he's inviting me to come, you know. So my thought was, you don't just show up for the party. So I was reading the posters and stuff. And of course they're inviting me to the fun dancing music part. But I see on the poster that was written more for the Hindu community the, the local Hindu community, they say the temple time, temple 12 to 12.30. And then, you know, kind of doors open at information of five or six, and kids can come and dress in their favorite Hindu god, you know, you know, dress up as their favorite Hindu god, and describing there's going to be this type of music, and there'll be these dances, and there'll be, you know, because these dances they're listing that's the the vessel the medium of telling celebrating and remembering krishna janmashtami it's not just oral tradition it's not just written in the gita you also need to do remember observe the dances and the songs and the music And th these are my conclusions. They, they weren't lecturing me or anything on this yesterday. I'm just, ah. Uh, so my goal for today, definitely the more important, I would say, than coming to the festival would be go to the temple. This is Hindu, Hinduism's, you know, most holy. I, I understand there's a Diwali, but I think this one's, I think that one's a big party. Festival of Lights. Party, party, party. This one's more spiritual. Or hey, there is a supreme being, there are other heavenly, celestial beings, but this is the supreme and it's important to think about and honor and remember and observe just like yesterday's monologue was about anniversaries we need to have these reflection times we also need to do it publicly and socially and it's special if i want to go to the temple, be a guest, go to temple. It's only 12 to 12.30, 30 minutes. And I want to do a little bit of shopping just as, as my way of showing that, that effort, that, hey, I'm not just showing up. You know, how, how can I demonstrate that sincerity and, and that reciprocity that you invited me, here I am. You invited me Therefore, I put in some effort to show that I also think this is a special day. And I suppose writing a letter and a card of thanks would, would do well to, to, to convey. But if I only did that, then again, my message might be misunderstood as being you only wrote down on a piece of paper because you didn't want to go spend money and buying new clothes or right so I think doing both say so yes 
I made myself look prettier and I put effort and, and sacrifice. I spent money on stuff just for you, just for this event as a thanks for inviting me. I put money that I could have, you know, spent on other things, driving to Edmonton or Winnipeg, but I put it on silly human clothes to look silly human better, to show a, a not silly human, a, a very special human, that I get it, and I thank you for it. That in addition to uh, a thank you card, thank you for inviting me, thank you for making me feel welcome and included. I think that would start to share the message that I, I, I'm feeling. Krishna Jan Mashtami. That's all for now. À la prochaine. Until next time.